Hey everyone, how you doing? It's me, Joe, and today we are back playing Fallout 4. Um, this is back at my uh, sanctuary base, the fort base that I've built. Um, I did the tour video of this, and it's got a lot of views and a lot of attention, which I'm really hap happy about. Yeah, I've read Rocket videos, just skyrocketing views, it's amazing. Um, but I've had a couple of comments asking me how I put the roof on in the buildings. So if I, I'll, sh I'll show you quickly. In the video, I was giving you a tour around the base. And we came in here and I showed you that I'd put a roof up on here so it doesn't have any gaps on. Now, there are ways to fix this. You can just download a mod on PC. It just fixes it all for you. Um, but I, I did everything I've done here with, is without mods. Um, so I want to show you a little glitch that you can do to get the roof on. For any console players or people on PC who just don't want to download a mod to fix the roof, you can uh, do it this way instead. It's pretty simple. So that's what it'll look like. You have a nice little roof over it. Um, it covers up all the holes, and this is what it normally looks like. Um, so I'll go in this house over here. And I'll show you. you. can see already just the holes. Like you, you walk through, and it's just like that. It's ridiculous. You can see the whole sky, like no matter where you go. So it does kind of cover you up a bit. Um, and I want to quickly show you guys how to do it. It's very easy. I need to go over here. So go to build mode. Um, it, it is a glitch, but it's not nothing. You don't need to do anything really. Um, other than just copy what I do. So this is the foundation of the house. So this house here is pretty much going to be the same size as this. Um, well, it'd be a bit smaller actually. But yeah, I'll give you a main gist of it. So we go to build mode, and we get a floor. So you want to get a really small floor, like um, this one. You want to place it right into the corner over here, like so. Just make sure it's like quite level. Yeah, that's good. And then you want to get a wall. You need one. If I can get it on the right place. There we go. So you want it like that. And then you need a roof. So the roof, roof, roof is on fire. I'm going to pick. Oh no, you don't need a roof. Sorry, you need another floor. You can get the one that's like a double. This one. What's it called? Shack upper floor. So it's like a double floor. So it's more thick. You can just use this one if you wanted to. But it's got gaps in it still, so I like to use this one because it's like, you know, it's still got little bits of gaps in it. You can double layer it if you really wanted to. Like, you can do this and then add like one of these on top. It will cover it up a bit more, but I just don't see the point. I think this does it perfectly fine. So, yeah, you just simply do this. And um, you go over as much as you want. Now some built houses are longer than the others, so you may want to. Uh, just go out a few more, a few more blocks. Oh, my building size is full. Great, fantastic. Okay, I fixed it. I just got rid of half my generator to my base, so <laughs> my base isn't powered at the minute. But I couldn't be bothered. Okay, so there we go. That's the roof on. Like I said, you can add a couple more if you wanted to. Can I put them here? Because you, you better. Because once you do this, you can't undo it. So you want to make them like as long as possible. Make sure you save it before you do this because, like I said, it can um, you can uh, you can't delete it. Go on, get in. You're just on. There we go. Right. So you've got the roof on. And what you need to do now is transport this into there. And you do that quite easily just by holding the build button. So you go up here, the select button. Sorry, you hold select. And there you go. It's picked everything up. I think it's pretty like X. I'm guessing on on a uh, PS4 and like A. I don't know. And yeah, what you do. Go into the house you want to do. So we're going to do this house here. Um, oh, there's a. Hang on, let's quickly clean it. Yeah, make sure you need, you need a clean corner. Like so. We just get rid of all this as well because we've got all wall. So you need a room that's kind of empty. You just need a corner like this that's completely clean. Because this is where you're going to place the block down. So I've left everything outside again. So I need to quickly go out and get it. But yeah, I had a lot of people asking me, so I thought it would just be best just to make a quick little video on it, because it would take me two seconds to do. It's very easy to explain, it's very simple when you know what to do. So you come in here, and you try and get, you press drag it in a bit, try and get as close to the corner as possible. I think that's probably the best we can do. You press enter, well, select or whatever to place it, and as you see, you've got a roof. It's very simple. 
completely covered up. And if we went too far, which we did, oh, that does look a bit ugly, so you can just delete these ones if you wanted to. You know, you will have still have a little gap. Maybe just put a uh, half a floor on there, you know, just fill around with it. Like I said, just just save and just reload the save and you can test how long it needs to be. If I put small floors in there, that would have been covered perfectly. But yeah, that's that's the gist of it. And then you just come in here, um, just delete these and there you go. It's done. Well, another quick thing as well. People keep asking about the doormat glitch. I did do a video on it, but I don't think I showed it off well enough because I did it on a window in Red Rocket. Yeah, you can see my lines over there as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll quickly do that as well, just to show everyone. I've already done a, a doormat glitch video, but people keep asking still, so I'll just add it in this one as well, because you know, more people are likely to see it. So say you want to board up a window. I like to use this wall, because it's like this, like boarding up windows. You place it on the floor, and you get a doormat. If I can find one. They're in here somewhere. There we go. So this is the doormat glitch. You get the doormat, turn it around, and you place it in front. A bit of dirt there to this side. You place it in front of the wall you want to you want to move. Make sure it's away from any other structures you're building because you have to hold E, and it picks it up just like before. You've picked up both objects, um, and it's very simple. You just walk into a room. You think, oh, look, that window needs doing. I can't do it though because it's stuff in front of it. Okay. <laughs> Why is there so much junk in this house? Okay, we'll just cover up this wall. And you can see there, look, it covers it up. And that's how you board up windows and walls. You can do it on all the windows. Like, I'll quickly show you. If I if I delete this, and I'll get rid of that as well. I think that's that's nice and open there. Quickly come back here, out here, and get this again. It does look really nice when you board up the windows. You would have seen it in my my base tours. You can see that it just goes straight through the wall. You got boards that window. You can do that on all the gaps. You can put one here, you can put one on this window. Um, you can board up even like the insides. Like, I like to board up these little bits with the half walls. Um, but yeah, it's literally you can board up everything. You have the roof on, board up every wall, every window. And if you want to put a door on the house, like you can't actually put doors on the house. You do the doormat glitch again, so you get your doormat. I think I left my one in there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, make sure you pick them up because otherwise you have doormats everywhere. Oh, you want to get a door frame. And they are in here. On the wall, you get a door frame. Again, it's very easy. I'll quickly show you. Like, if I want to put this door in here, I can't. It's virtually impossible. I can't put a doorway here unless I put it like, right outside. But it just looks stupid. It's impossible. You can't put it anywhere. Put it in front of a doormat. However, pick up the doormat. Well, with the oh, I zoomed in a bit. Just do this, and as you can see, okay, that failed. <laughs> It's not working. Is there something around here? I might because the table's there. I don't know why I went out of build mode. There you go. It should work now. Get rid of this as well. And go back and get it. And there we go. You can see we got it straight away. You can put it right up into the door frame. If you, it, you can fill around with it. It does take a little while sometimes to get the perfect one. Like you might have to move the doormat around a bit. But you can put it right in the doorway or you have it about, say what, here perhaps. I can't get it now. There you go, that'll do. Yeah, you've got a doorway. So you just pick up the doormat or keep it there because it's a door. Um, go to your doors, place the door down. There you go, you have a door on your sanctuary house. It's not level, but you can just fix it and mess around with it. I'm just doing this quickly. And it opens, you got a door. Easy, you can do that on any door in the sanctuary. It's so easy to do, you've got a roof now, you can board up windows. Or like I said, if you've got a PC, just download the mod. <laughs> There's mods to do all of this. But I'm just saying, for anyone who's on console, doesn't want to download mods, that's the way you can do it, that's probably the best way you can do it. But yeah, um, thank, I just wanted to make that quick little video because I've had a bunch of people ask me, so I thought you know now I can just link them to this rather than keep explaining how to do stuff. I'm sorry, why am I bunny hopping? I've been playing too much bunny hop on CS. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I just heads up as well. I am making a new base build. It's taken a long time. It's over at a, f at a fort. It's the castle base, which is down, down here. Nope, here. 
I cleared it. I'm currently in the process of building on it. Um, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to spend so much time building it. It's going to be great, hopefully. I've never done it before. It's a big challenge to do. It looks really difficult. But we'll see. That'll be the next base build. I don't know when it'll be out, but you can look forward to that. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.